All right, good peoples, back at you with Coney. Coney and Coin. So how did we do? Let's take a good look. I got to create my July tab. All right. So Coin had a nice day to up to closed at 23337 up 5.01 and we were up 3.34. Well, we got capped. We were running by our weeklies. We're past both of those with four trading days to go. Now, Misty I had just uploaded and done. So they had 675,000 shares. Well, these guys added 600,000, but they didn't do any trades, which says to me they're preparing their cash. So maybe that's a sign. I mean, they've got 47 million setting in cash, which is was a 12 million uh, increase from the purchase of stock. Um, so with no trades, they didn't produce any more income. Um, and let's go take a look at that. So on the 260, where are we, right? 17 days away from expiration. We're 10% away. Oh, it's raining outside. You guys probably can't hear it with the noise canceling, but... Um, but it's raining hard. I can sure hear it. So the issue there, you know, we're, we have a 75 million loss in our synthetic, um, but that's down considerably uh, from the loss that we had. Uh, I'll show you on holdings, and then I'll come back here. So, oops. I gotta update this one. Anyway, this should read 75,000, 75,026. So I need to change these numbers, but it's fair to say it's okay. It's reflected properly here. So at 75, it's way down from 102, from 98, from 123. Um, oh, look at that. Oh. I know what's wrong up here. I didn't drag this down. Okay, so much, well, not really much closer, right? That's, that's a ways away because they're sitting on cash. So they're saying, whoops. Boy, I tell you, I am having a bad day with this spreadsheet. No, it's 55, so that will get it to the right number. How about that? 2106 and 2104. I knew it should have been closer. All right, you can see here graphically, look at this reduction in the synthetics. But the danger is running by these. Look at this. We, we collected 8.6 million, but if we had to buy it back, it's 20 million. So if we don't get down to 232, 5 and 230, especially here. Now, granted, we're only 233, but if we move up from here, that just shows you how these high IV stocks all have time premium. And this one right here, it's only three and a half dollars that are actually above this, and yet they're showing seven, right? So you got three and a half of intrinsic, which means that it's, you know, it's run by it, but the other is all time premium, right? So only three and a half is really above the strike price, and the other three and a half is time premium with, technically there are four calendar days, but there are only three trading days, right? Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. Okay, guys, so just always trying to educate you a little bit on just what those IVs and when they talk about time decay and, you know, you could get into the Greek words for it, the gamma and the delta and different things, but, you know, we'll stick with common English. It's 
hard enough to learn options without having to learn all the, the Greeks and the geeks with it. Um, all right, so let's jump over to the weekly again here. And this is where you can see it, right? I'm, I mean, I tell you that it's 8.6, and they'd have to, you know, they've captured a minus 11. So when you add 11.4 to 8.6, they'd have to buy it back at 20 million. So that's pretty ugly. But again, look at, look at where we really are. I said 350. It's only 250. So that means that 450 of that $7 is time premium. Three trading days, right? Now, that's, I mean, BTC, when it's running, I, I'm not convinced this isn't still a little small bear flag. It's got to get over 65. And let me look at pre-market. It's trading at 62.905, you know, with three or four hours to go. So it's down from the almost 64. It did hit 64 late. Um, so anyway, I thought I would just show you how close this stuff is. This one. They've run by it, and this guy, they've run by it, but look how skinny the run by it is, right? This is the one that at 233.37, you know, that's the one with the $7 buyback, and it's only 337, so hence um, the other 363 is coming out of. Um, time value, three trading days of time value. And this guy's so close that we could easily go back. But anyway, I wanted to let you know that. Let's go over, because Coney's having a good month, except in these weeklies, but honestly, they're going to declare right tomorrow. We're talking 24 hours or less away from declaration. So it's not really going to impact things in terms of what they, they're going to pay us. So let's take a look at that again. And I've kept my 2106. I've shown the current price to give us a 114 yield because this was 2038 on the weekend when I did my prediction. But look now. So this hasn't changed, right? Although the shares went up. So this should, let's make sure, 32175, yep. I got the share count, uh, so that hasn't altered us a lot there. So I think we're in a situation where this thing is uh, going to pay about what it's going to pay. So let me go over that for you for just a quick second. So we got 32 million shares. We've got net income of 82 million. So if you do a divide on that, you're going to get total amount of money at 258. They lost 26 cents on the short call income, and they had 91 over here on the synthetic. So nice, nice synthetic. Um, but the short call, and again, this short call could end up ugly, right? That could be another 11 million added. Again, it's not going to affect this month, right? None of that happens until Friday, really. So I'm going with two dollars and one cent. They could go up and pay us two forty, but I think they're going to leave some on the table. I, I mean, I, realistically, it's probably one eighty to two twenty-five is the kinds of numbers they're going to do. So when I see something like that, I just say two dollars and one. They're not going to pay a dollar. They're not going to. Ah, they could pay a buck fifty, but that's pretty chintzy. I, I don't think they will. Uh, there is a seventy-five million, but again, that's seven nineteen. It's only two weeks out. Uh, let's take a look at that. Yeah, most of all of these have seven nineteen um, on those. Let me let me show it actually at the synthetic. Yeah. Everybody that I'm covering, except for Ybit, which has got an 8.2, two, 
are on the actual monthly, the third Friday of the month. So when these guys leave this, they're going to go to a, whatever the calendar's got in September. Uh, they're going to go to the third week. They're going to go to September 20 when they roll these for the major. Because the volume is larger on the third Friday or what they refer to as monthlies. And sometimes they coincide with a quarterly or something as well. Okay, guys, that's what I got for you. Again, uh, this is Bruce with Targeted Wealth Creation. Let's hope for a good Misty, Coney, Ybit, and I'll do my GDX. Again, it's not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Have a great day ahead. Bye now.